and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week and sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't wanna miss out. Alrighty, so let's jump straight into the box. Before I forget, I do have a code for BoxyCharm. I seem to always forget to mention it. I do have it in the description box, but I'll have it somewhere here for you guys. I think you get either your first box free, something like that, or a percentage off. I don't even know. It's there if you want to use it. So um, yes, I will remember to put that somewhere here. This one's theme is invite only. I do of course have my BoxyCharm items, but I do have two extra items, which I redeemed from my charm room, I think is what it's called. So I will share those with you as well. But first up we have this little brush trio. It came in this little bag right here. And it is the Luxi Por La Noche brush set and it retails for $40 and it comes with three brushes it's a little trio like I said and these are really great of course I love Luxie brushes um, very soft didn't shed on the first use which I hate when that happens when it's like a brand new brush and then it just starts shedding like ugh. but um, yes yeah, so you get a face brush and two eye brushes so oh, this one says concealer this one says medium angled shading and this one says blush brush but I used this for my bronzer and I used both of these for my eyes so um, they worked very well, blended everything out perfectly, so I really like these. Speaking of brushes, I also got a makeup brush cleanser, and it is the Bodyography Makeup Brush Cleanser for $19. And it's just, I guess, a way to spot clean your brushes, which is really cool. I've never had a spot cleaner before, so let's test this baby out. Let's just test it on our new brush right here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's actually really cool. I've never had one of these before, like a little spot cleaner. So that's really nice. I hate cleaning my makeup brushes, so this will be great. Next up is the Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer, which retails for $24. And it comes with a little mirror right here. And this is the bronzer. It actually did work for my skin tone. I usually get a lot fairer in the winter time. I recently went to the beach and so I'm still, I still have my tan, thankfully. So um, yeah, but usually in the winter time I get a lot paler and uh, this should work for me. But I did use it on my face today and um, it did give a very nice subtle bronzing effect, which I really liked. And I really like how it blended out. It was so easy. I actually used this brush and I accidentally like stamped it right on my face and I was like, oh gosh, this is gonna be so sucky to blend out, but it literally just, I just went like this and it blended out beautifully. So uh, I was very impressed with this. Really, really nice. So that was a win for me. Next we have an eyeshadow palette from Violet Voss and it is the Violet Sunset and this was perfectly named because look at the colors. I actually ended up using all the neutral colors here. So I used six out of the 10 eyeshadows and these were amazing. Um, I actually really like Violet Voss eyeshadows. They blended out perfectly and my favorite is definitely this one. Uh, it's called Champagne and it has like some really beautiful glitters in here. I don't even so gorgeous and then this one is called vanilla and i thought it was just like a plain like very simple champagne shimmery shade but there's actually like a little bit of a violet shift to this eyeshadow right here you can see that so it looks different when it's swatched versus in the pan so that was a nice little surprise um let me swatch some of these for you let me swatch the purple ones or these bottom ones because i didn't get to use them wow look at this one <gasps> that's called violet sunset okay that might be my favorite wow that's really pretty so gorgeous that is absolutely beautiful i love that and purple is one of my favorite shades to wear on my eyes 
so I will definitely be keeping this eyeshadow palette. And this retails for $37. The last thing that was in the box was this little duo. It is called the Crystal Ball Roller Gloss Duo by Incredible Cosmetics. That's that's pretty cute. Uh, and it retails for $24. And it comes with actually two of these glosses. I used to have so many of these as a kid. Not with the little stones in them, but like there was like different flavors like grape and cherry and stuff like that. And I that was like all I would wear all the time. And um, that's actually pretty cool. Um, it says that it will cool and soothe the lips. It has a glassy formulation and it's infused with crystals to stimulate lip circulation and wake up the chakras enriched with nourishing and hydrating properties. All sounds very interesting, um, but uh, to me, they're just very pretty to look at. <laughs> so I do have it on right now on top of something else that I will share with you guys, but I absolutely love these. I This just brought me back to when I was a kid and I love these kind of glosses. I love that really like high gloss look and it just looks like water on your lips. I just, I love it. So gorgeous. I did end up using this one right here. And oh, I mean, look at the stones though. This is so beautiful. The only thing about these rolly glosses is that when you use it on top of another lipstick, the lipstick shade kind of like gets on here and then it gets into the clear gloss, which I hate. I hate when the clear gloss is like all cloudy and stuff. So to avoid that, I just rolled it right on top of my hand and then used a lip brush to scoop it up and put it on my lips. And um, these don't have, well, they do have a small, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of like rose, but kind of different at the same time. It's like if you mixed rose with soy sauce. That's what it smells like. <laughs> so those were all the items in the box, but as I said, I did redeem some of my points from the charm room, um, mainly because I'm most likely going to be canceling BoxyCharm in December, which is crazy because I think I've had BoxyCharm for like six or seven years and I love it, but I just have so much makeup now, like too much which I never thought I would say, but anyways. So the first thing I got was this little brush duo and I actually already have this brush duo and it is the Moda Metallics by Royal and Langnickel. It is the Ice Sculptures duo and um, one of them is very fluffy like this. I love these kind of fluffy crease brushes and this one actually is like a triangular shape if you can see. So this was really great for like concealer and stuff. If you want to really get in there, this is like perfect because it's angled. So I got two more of those because I actually really like this. And to be completely honest, the charm room usually doesn't have very much stuff that at least that, you know, I'm interested in. So um, I keep waiting like every single month and I never get anything from the charm room because I never see anything that I like. So I was just like, you know what? I already like these brushes. Might as well get a little backup. So that's what I got. But this next item I love. Uh, this is from Nude Sticks. I've never tried Nude Sticks before. And let's see. This is the Gel Balm. I think it's what it's called. It's for the lip and cheek. It's a lip, lip and cheek balm is what it says. And the shade is called J Mama. So it came with these two things. This is the actual lip color and I totally squashed it. I totally, I, why do I always end up doing this to all of my lipsticks? I don't understand. But I mistakenly put this lid on this and it just totally like squashed it down. But... This is such a beautiful color. It's what I have on my lips right now. And it's like your lips, but better kind of like beautiful rosy nude. And I love it. And um, it came with a little sharpener, which is so great. I keep losing the one sharpener that I have. So I'm, I love that it came with a sharpener and it closes up like this so you can take it on the go. <laughs> I mean, that's that's amazing. I love that. The only thing is, of course, I wish this was like a twist up. <sighs> but um, see, oh my gosh, I almost did it again. Almost. Did you see that? Oh, 
Anyways, so I absolutely love this. This month's box was amazing, which makes it even harder for me to have to cancel the box. I just, I really don't want to, but, um, oh man, this month's box was amazing. I really, I, there, there was not one single thing that I hated. I literally loved every single item. I can't even pick a favorite. That's how good it was. Alrighty, you guys. So that is it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.